Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own pajamas. I know everybody was obsessed with the sleepers pajamas and this is just an affordable way to do it. As you can see, I have a pack of pajamas. I have the feathers that I will be using and I also have some fabric fusion all from Amazon. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera adjusted as you can see. Uh, this is my first time doing a voiceover, so hopefully everything is matching up perfectly with the video. Right now, I am actually trying to figure out if I want to double up the, f the feathers or just do a single width of the feathers. Um, I wanted a more dramatic effect. So right here, I'm just measuring it and looking at it around my wrist to see how much I want to use and if I do want to double it up and just seeing how much I actually have. Um, I had originally put the pins in there to kind of um, help with folding over the feathers. But right now, I'm just kind of measuring it out to see if I want to double up the widths or if I just want to use a single width just to see the dramatic um, of it all. I wanted to, I wanted it to kind of be as feathery as possible as a sleeper pajamas um, without just looking so like sparse. <laughs> so um, I, I originally thought about, you know, doubling it up and that's why I had the pins in it, but I just wanted to make sure so right now you'll see me kind of adjusting and looking at it and seeing if that's really something that I actually want to do because of course it's a little bit different when you're using fabric and fabric fusion glue or any type of glue that's um, for fabric instead of stitching or sewing it which I'm also used to doing um, because of course that lasts a little longer but I just wanted it to be as easy as possible for DIYs to follow along with. So I went ahead and um, wanted to move forward with the glue, but I wasn't really sure how um, that would actually work out if I doubled it. And I just wanted to make sure that the quality was still there and that these could last a little bit longer, although they wouldn't last as long as it would be if you were actually stitching and sewing the feathers onto the actual pajamas. So now I'm going to lay the fabric fusion down at least half of the way so that I can fold it over and that it will be doubled. So right here, I'm taking off the cap. I'm moving the feathers a little bit more back next to the camera so you guys can see. <laughs> and now I'm going ahead and gluing half of the way so that I can fold it over. I went ahead and doubled up the glue just for extra security. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold that over so that each ends meet together. And I'm going to just press down little by little in sections making sure that the fabric is not, well the feathers, I'm sorry, not fabric. The feathers are not caught into the glue as I am um, pushing it down, as you can see. So I'm just taking my time and folding it over and moving little by little 
down the line making sure that it's secure and making sure that the feathers are not caught and upside down Then I'm going to go back over with my fingers and just pressing down to make sure that the glue is secure on both sides and that both sides are actually adhering to one another. Then I'm going to pick that up and lay it over to the side so that it can go ahead and dry. It's going to take about, I would say, an hour or two just to be safe. You want to let that go ahead and sit and then you want to work on your other pack of feathers and make sure you just do the same thing that we did before, which is go ahead and lay it all out, fold it in half, see where the half mark is, and then go ahead and start laying your fabric fusion down and then going ahead and folding it back over as we did in the first one. And then we're gonna lay that over to the side and let that dry. Okay, now we're back. We have now allowed both sides of both feathers to go ahead and dry. So now you see the thickness, you see that they both are, uh, both sides are adhering to each other perfectly. You don't see that it's folding over. You don't see any gaps in between. You just wanna make sure that both sides are evenly distributed when it comes to the glue and that they are adhering to both sides. Right here, I'm just adjusting the camera i'm sorry guys i'm still getting used <laughs> to recording i just want to make sure you can see everything so right here you see the white line of the hem that is where we're going to put the feathers at if we were sewing i would suggest to probably lay it a little bit below but since we're using glue let's go ahead and um put the glue on top of the feathers and put the glue on top of that white light that white line hem so that it would adhere to each other because fabric can be a little tricky when you're gluing it so the best way to do that is to actually lay the glue on top of that white line of the pajamas and if you have um, any other pajamas or any color i would say whatever that double hem is at the bottom go ahead and um, move forward with actually putting the feathers or whatever type of fabric that you're going to adhere to the pajamas on top of that hem but if you're going to sew i would suggest to obviously <laughs> unhem it and stitch it together or to actually put it below that will work the best so right here i am starting to squeeze out the fabric fusion glue again 
in this I think that I um, I'm going to I suggest that you double it and we just want to run the glue back back and forth just making sure that it's enough glue on this side so that we can lay it down on top of the hem You want to just keep pressing it down, making sure that your ends are secure. And if you need extra glue on any parts, just make sure that you go ahead and do that and just press it down. Remember, and when you first go to do it and you start putting the, you know, the feathers and adhering it to the fabric, it can be a little bit messy and it can also slide so you just want to make sure that it's secure enough and we went ahead and did both feathers of course um in the beginning before we start adhering it to the fabric because this takes a lot of drying time and you want to make sure that it is completely dry before you move on to the next part so right here instead of me cutting off the the feathers that was on the other side because i just want to have that whole wraparound effect we went ahead and used the second feathers that we doubled up and we're going to lay that on the opposite side um, that we didn't do already and we want to lay that onto the opposite side of the pants and doing the same thing doubling up the glue and putting it directly onto that white hemline and like I was saying you want to make sure that it's secure because it can be a little bit messy and a little slippery <laughs> so right here you can see I'm just pushing it down trying to make sure that it's secure and then when we come back we're just going to do the same and we're going to flip it on the other side And now we're gonna sit and let it dry. I suggest to sit and let it dry as long as possible. I always suggest at least an hour. I like to do two hours if possible because we wanna make sure that it's completely secure and that the glue is adhering to the fabric because sometimes the glues can be a little tricky. So right now we have now flipped our pants over to the side. It's a few hours later. And as you can see, both sides are dry. And now we're just gonna flip over the feathers and adhere it to the opposite side. And we're gonna do that with the other um, side of the pants. And here, I um, it's no particular way to do your glue. You just wanna make sure that it's still in the same line. So even if it's over, on the feathers hem or even on that white hem of the pants you just want to make sure that it's enough glue so that both sides are sticking to one another but it's no particular way that you need to do it but um, here you will see that I would do the same motions of putting the glue back onto the feathers hem but also putting extra glue on top of that hem on the pants if, it's, if it seems like it's not um, adhering to one another. Whatever works um, best for you, I would say you can either put the glue on the hem or you can put the glue on the feather or you can go back through and just, you know, hit the spots that may not be adhering to one another. But you'll see as you start to work with it and work with the glue, which actually works best for you. And right here, I'm just flipping it over and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And I'm just making sure that it's actually attaching to it 
and I want to and as you can see in the motions I kind of put my hand underneath too because I want to make sure that the glue isn't going and seeping all the way through because we don't want our pants to stick together of course <laughs> we want to be able to put our pants on so you also want to be mindful of that as you're gluing it down you still want to go back through and um, kind of put your hands through as well and then you can double secure it by pressing on both sides even from the inside and see right here because it's so um the, the two pieces that are now starting to adhere to each other when it comes to the feathers it can be a little stiff so that's what I was saying whatever works best for you um, I went back ahead and put um, the fabric fusion of course on both sides because it wasn't completely sticking like it was doing before on the front the front hand and I think it's because you know the fabric is already kind of stiff on the front so we just want to make sure that we secure it. So we just go back through, run the glue through both sides and press down in the same motion. Okay, now we have let the back side dry. And like I was saying, the suggestion is an hour or two. And now that it is dry, we want to cut off the end, but we wanna make sure it's no gap. So we wanna wrap it back around at least like um, maybe an inch of the way so that there's no gap on the corners or ends of it. And we just wanna go ahead and cut that little piece off so and then we'll have that leftover piece for our wrist of course but for that one little inch we're going to go ahead and put the glue on the feathers hem at the top and then we're just going to wrap that piece back around and stick it onto the hem of the feather that's already glued down to the fabric of the pants that way that is secure there's no gaps and it just looks like it flows completely through um, in this no separation. Right here, I'm taking out a pin because like I said um, before, the feathers can be a little um, um, stiff and the glue can get stuck as well so i'm just trying to make sure that the glue is still working properly because of course this is hours after and sometimes even when you put the cap on it can still you know the glue can still get a little stuck but right here i'm going to just go ahead and put the glue down and you'll see that um I had to use a couple of different objects that I can find around the house to lay on top of this to kind of secure it. But if you have any thick books, which I didn't at the time, I would suggest um, to use that, use the thick book and possibly use one that's like laminated or put like just a little piece of plastic in between that and the book so that the book doesn't get messed up or doesn't have any ex, um, excess of glue onto it from you adhering the actual glue onto the pants. 
just to kind of help with putting more pressure on to keeping that side down because the ends can be a little tricky because now that you have glued it and that line is a little stiff it's hard to manipulate it the way that you want to so sometimes you just got to go ahead and take that extra step of using an object to kind of put down to really um, secure it and right here i'm just holding it down with my fingers just trying to make sure that it's as secure as possible um i'm gonna eventually actually use an object which is some vases a water bottle <laughs> whatever i could find around that was closed um because i just didn't want the glue to lift Okay, and now as that's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. We're just cutting off a little inch of a piece um, just so there is no gap and that it goes right directly onto the other side of the feather hem. Okay, and now you can see a couple of objects in my house that I use, like my core bottle, <laughs> some vases that were around the house. Um, so you'll still see those in the screen because I kind of use those to um, pull some pressure down, like I was saying, on um, helping the adhesive um, with the wrap around of the pants. But now I'm just measuring out the wrist part. And as you can see, you don't need that much fabric so those two packs will definitely do the job even with doubling it up and right now i'm just measuring it out making sure that it's perfect on both sides and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did before with the pants and just adhere both sides i already completed one side and i'm moving forward with the other side and i'm just gonna glue that down and do the same steps that we did in the beginning which is adhere one side let that dry for about an hour or two adhere the other side um, and you can do this right after so you don't have to wait an hour or two to go ahead and adhere the other side but once you adhere that one side you go ahead and move on to the second side let both of those sit for about an hour or two and then we're going to move on like we did with the pants and flip it over and just wrap it around again and here we shouldn't have to do any cutting because we'll just double it up whatever we have left on that end and we'll adhere it back to the feather piece Okay, of course, we went ahead and followed those steps that we did in the beginning with the pants. And we just went ahead and wrapped the feathers all around the wrist like we did with the pants. And as you can see here, it's completely dry. It's no separation. It's not sticking together. And it is full as can be. I love these pajamas. They remind me just love the sleepers pajamas for a fraction of the cost. Now, let's get to the reveal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and now you can make your own pajamas. These are so cute, girly, really cute, and perfect. Now I'm real for bit. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.